Hi, how are you doing? My name is Roger, and a few months ago I released a song about the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. Because I don't have any other musicians to play music with at the moment, I decided to record it myself without any instruments. Do you want to know how? <laughs> This is not the actual song. The real song is going to be linked down below if you want to check it out. And in this video, we're going to go through how I recorded my percussion part and how I treated them in my computer. Not that I want to copy like a drum kit, but I needed the same kind of elements that a drum kit have. So as a kick drum, I went for my feet. First, I did some separate hits. And then I did some walking to the beat of the metronome. Then I changed my shoes. And one more time. Uh, two times. Instead of a snare drum, I went for snaps, which I recorded a few times. And claps, which I recorded a bunch of. I will show you later why. I also went to the far end of my room, as far away from the microphone as I possibly could, and recorded claps at a distance. I hit my chest a few times in different dynamics. I did some hi-hat pattern with my mouth close to the microphone. I also did some shaker sounds. And when I did that, I had to turn my head away from the microphone, otherwise it would puff a lot. I needed some kind of cymbal hits, so I did that with my mouth. And also cymbal swells. I needed some kind of a dirty element to bind it all together, so I made some weird percussion loop just with my mouth. I didn't succeed every time. And I did a bunch of them to see what will suit the groove at the end. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how I edited it, edit, edit it at, that way. So now I'm by my computer and I use Logic Pro as my DAW most of the time. What I will show you, that doesn't matter what DAW you have, it, you can do it in any because all of them are good at this time. So let's get into it. I have cut up the audio files into different tracks so it's easier to see. And let's start with the foot. The foot converse, it sounds like this. What I would do is I will do a sampler instrument out of this. So let's cut it up. Looks good. And uh, new track like that with a logic multi sample sampler stereo it could be mono but i'm so used to shoe stereo uh, that i do it automatically and let's take let's take grab these and put them over there and now we should have some sound if I hit my keyboard, and we have it. Good. Uh, I will do the same for the leather, and uh, maybe we fast forward at this time. So now we have our feet. In instrument one, two, and three. Let's call and let's do like uh, just naming them uh, quickly, like this: FT one, FT two, and FT three. What I like to do, just to be safe, is the tracks I probably don't need. I like to drag them at the down on my range window, 
And when I'm sure I don't need them, I will delete them. But for now, let's, they will be there. The walk. Let's see how that is. So that is the converse walk. I will gain it up a little bit like that. And uh, the second walk. Hmm. I want a big walk. So I will actually do like this. I will add three audio tracks. And then I will cut these up in four bars each. I will drag these three down and up like that. So now we have six feet that are walking together, hopefully, which sounds... I mean, ah, that's okay. It's not the best, but it's, it's okay. I don't mind the flaming, but maybe the flaming was a little too much. I will go to Logic's Flex time and go slicing. And I can hopefully choose all the tracks at once. And I will choose all tracks, go to quantize to a quarter, and Q strength at, let's say, 70. Let's try that. Yeah, maybe a little less, maybe, maybe 50. Yeah, that's decent. I like the flaming like that. Let's see if we can then uh, choose those four bars and a little extra in the beginning and a little extra at the end and bounce them together. But first, I almost forgot, we should pan them. So this should be letter two. Let's pan this halfway on the side. Sandal two. Let's do that. And Converse 2. And Leather 1. A bit more like that. Or was it Sandals? And doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I just pan them a little bit like that and see how it sounds. Maybe I can afford to do a bit more panning. Like, like so. We'll try that. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. So that's perfect. We choose a, a cycle, go into our mixer and press on bounce. Stereo out, PZM, yeah, looks good. And uh, f we call it Walk. A new audio track. Create. And I will go into my Finder. And uh, I will drag this in. I have a second screen here, so you can't see it. There we have it. So let's listen. Uh, let's go to the snaps. The snaps, I will do sort of the same. Oh, uh, let me mute the wax. So, hello. There we have it. No, no marker. Okay. Yeah, the second snap is really good. I'm going to choose that separately. And uh, cut it up and make a sampler instrument out of it. I will make it a bit wider on the range because then, because then on the keyboard, I, this is the original snap, but I can go down and I can go up if I want to. I'm not sure I want to, but Let's say I, I do. Uh, we're going to make a couple of more audio sampler tracks, and I will choose these two bars. 
and two more bars and two more bars and then go and make three audio channels. No, not software instruments. I did it wrong. So we're going to do it again and choose audio channels this time. It's much better if you want audio channels. And now I did only one. So two more. And uh, one, two, and three. No, that didn't work out. This is okay. This is okay. So and this is fine. And I'm going to pan two of them nearly left, right, like this. You can always do it wider uh, when you're bouncing, and you can make it narrow, narrower, narrow, narrow narrower uh, when you're mixing but you can't reverse it make it too narrow and then try to spread it out well there are plugins that can make stereo wider than it really is but i think i go full here and make decisions how wide i would like to have it later so let's bounce these So what I want to do with this is also make a sampler instrument out of it. So let's cut them up. So I have four different sounds, which sounds like this. These I can hide from my eyes. Like that. Claps. I'm going to do sampler instruments out of those also. The same thing as we did with the snaps. So I'll get back to you. So now I have uh, the single clap on a sampler instrument and the three claps on another four different four different claps. But I, I will keep those uh, those as audio tracks because I'm now I'm gonna do a very big large clap also. So let's make some audio tracks. Let's make um, twelve. I don't know how many we need. I don't, Let's just make 12. This is uh, this is two bars because that one don't, don't belong. Two bars. Two bars of claps. And let's see what we have there. We have two bar and two more bars and more two bar. And I will drag that to there and so on. So we have four. Four clap, four tracks of these close, uh, close mic claps. There we have them. But then we also did the clap far, where I stood at the end of my studio and uh, and clapped. So let's make two bars, two bars. How many do we have? We have a lot. We have a few. Uh, there is also two bar, and this I can delete. So there. Perfect. Just line them up like that. And if I go into the mixer and pan them, a bit random we should be able to have a pretty large clap um, and it should be all those the three claps I have in the middle let's do it like that and do like that and the same thing uh, two of the four Let's go full. 
Um, let's see how that sounds. Yeah, I could do wider. I think I can do wider. So let's go. Let's go a little bit, little bit crazier on, on the panning. Like that. That's fine. I don't want the noise in there, so I will cut them up. Every single track, cut them up like this. And then make just a two bar cycle. Is that a two bar cycle? Yeah, that's a two bar cycle. And bounce that together. So, bounce. We call this, say, big clap. It's not the biggest clap, but it's a big clap. I won't do a sampler instrument out of the big claps. I will, sh I will leave it at, as audio files. The hi-hat. I don't want to make a sampler instrument of the hi-hat either. I want the sort of natural groove that, a, that is more human than a machine can do. Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's cut it up, two bars. And I think this is, this is similar, I don't need that. Yeah, I need that, I want that. So, um, two times two bars of hi-hat. And I will leave them as is, but I will go into the slicing of the logic and uh, do a little correction eight eight and uh, maybe 70 let's try that and next one that's perfect cool the shaker I will do sample instruments also breaths I didn't I didn't show you when I recorded it but it's just ah, breaths like that the chest I will do a sample instrument and the symbols I will get back to you and show you what I did with so um, see you in a little while so now I've made a few more sample instruments I've done a shaker which sounds like this when I press my keys the breaths something like that and the chest which sounds like this cymbal hits i made them left and right i will show you later why i do them left and right with sounds like these this and some cymbal swells um, and so on also left and right and now we come to the loops so now we're going to choose what loops we want to have Yeah, I can do something with that. Maybe choose the scissors. Where are the scissors? There they are. Let's choose the scissors. I can do something with that. And the next one. Stop here. Ah. Nah. I, I don't think so. And now I didn't start on the first beat. The second bar is okay. So I will choose that and then um, add it to that and try it with the metronome and see if it works yeah and the second bar I think is much better than the first bar so I will only choose the second bar there so and next one ah I can do without I can do without that. I would I wouldn't I will never no. Just no. Okay. And uh, next one. 
it, it has a offbeat uh, thing which I like. And the last one. <laughs> Uh, also an offbeat uh, thing that is quite cool. So that wasn't the last one. There's one more, and this sounds like... Ah, no. We skipped that one. Like that. Now I have some loops to choose from. I, I don't think I'm going to use all of them, and especially not at the same time. So let's see. We gonna. I'm going to do some flex time too. Oh, that that didn't work at all. Uh, let's choose eight on this and see if it gets any better. Ah, mm. ah, not quite. So let's say fifty. Mm. Better. So now we have all the tracks. Now I will arrange this in some kind of order to make a song out of it, and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Hi again. So now I have arranged the tracks we've recorded in a way I think make more sense. Uh, so let's get into it and see what I've done. We have the foot, the f low foot, the first foot, and it sounds like this. What I've done here is a slight EQ, a decapitator for some distortion, a sub bass, and some low end from Sugar. And the, the second and the third foot, the only thing I've done is high pass and taking a bunch of high mids out of them to get rid of the clicky sound. And the feet together sounds like this. Great. Uh, we have a walk, and the walk I actually narrowed the stereo image a little bit with the direction mixer of Logic, uh, and uh, I have a slight, I have a short reverb on it, a room sound, and I also made some EQ to keep the mid range, and it sounds like this. For both the snaps and the claps, the only thing I did was to high pass them and a little bit of overdrive to take the edge of it a little bit. And the claps, they sound like this. And they also have two reverbs that I made two buses for, a short verb with a short room and one plate, a little longer. I used the Arturia plate here. I also made a bus for every instrument group. So on the snaps and claps, there is a limiter to, uh, for safety reasons. The Hyatt and the Shaker, they only needed uh, high passing. Both the Hyatt and the Shaker are high passed. The breaths uh, also. I copied the breath to another track so I can pan them out in stereo. The breath sounds like this. The chest, the same thing as with the claps and snaps. Some EQing and a little bit of overdrive to take the edge of them. And they sound like this. The cymbals, I pan them left and right and sent them to a bus, which I high-passed a bit of compression to make the tail longer, and micro shift, some modulation, some soft modulation. To, so even though they are panned left and right, they sort of glued together with the modulation. It sounds like this. The loops are really interesting. So the loop on the verse sounds like this. And we have some EQ, high pass and low pass. Rather, 
aggressive compression. Limiting to make it even smoother and a transient designer to take a little bit of edge off but also shorten the sustain. The loop on the chorus I did the same thing with but I also put it through an amp with pretty high gain. Took some bass off, some treble off and some presence off. And because I did that I had to EQ it one more time to get rid of the harsh sound and the loop in the chorus sounds like this. Pretty cool. And the offbeat loops. Uh, the only thing I did with that was the same thing. High pass them. Uh, aggressive compression. Uh, some transient designer where I shortened the sustain as much as I could some decapitator for distortion and because they went obnoxiously loud I just lowered them with the gain plug sounds like this so all the arrangement is this So that's it. Is there something you would have done differently? So please let me know in the comments. Maybe I can learn from you and hopefully you have learned something from me. If you thought that this was interesting, please give it the thumbs up because then I know you like it and I can make more videos like this. The Swedish word for today is host, host, which is in English autumn, host. And roger that.